Okay, yeah, I'm back. And I finally got the bossy save editor to work. I need the save editor. Well, it's not actually an editor, it's just code that encrypts or decrypts a bossy save and then outputs it to another file or even the same file so as you can see here uh, let me go to my bossy window my save is messed up since I shot the save from here then landed in the race car and by the time my bullet hit the save point, the race car was all the way across the screen. So I'll just keep dying. So yeah. And to fix that... I have this Python code that duplicates how the encryption decryption of I want to be the boss she is handled. So there's a key inside the boss executable somewhere. Blob. This key is used for encryption decryption. How it works is it generates so this code here generates a vector of length 256 so 256 bits or wait is it bits or bytes okay 256 bytes the first byte is the first character of the key second byte second character third byte third character fourth byte fourth character so it's just blob 64 times Okay, next up, this code here, it generates a different vector off of the blob thing. So, this is the key vector, just blob 64 times, and then this generates a different vector that's used to generate cipher streams for encrypting. And then this code here generates the cipher stream. And the way it works is it'll have the same cipher stream for the same length file but if you change the length then the cipher stream will change the entire stream let me move this up or I'll just add more there's okay and then this function here is what does the encrypting and decrypting so you're taking the file save file 
and you're doing an XOR operation with the Cypher stream, what XOR does is it's a bitwise operation. 1 XOR 1 equals 0. 1 XOR 0 equals 1. 0 XOR. one equals one and zero XOR zero equals zero. So basically if the bits are different it returns zero. If the bits are I mean if the bits are different it returns zero. If the bits are the same uh, if the bits are different it returns one. If the bits are the same it returns zero. Yeah. So all right. So let me show you my save. Yeah, so it's just a bunch of gibberish right now. If I run my script, what the heck? Oh, okay, there we go. It will decrypt a file. So my X position, I was too far to the right, about half a screen. So I'll subtract 300 or so from it, save it. And then I'll run my script again. And now I just have to plop that save file into the bossy folder and run the game. Let's make sure this works first before I go into talking about more stuff regarding the encryption. Yep, so I was here, now I'm here. So it now it is. I fixed my save. Um, yeah. Now let's show some more stuff about the freaking encryption. Let's see, I need to get my Python shell window. Alright. So, let's see, data, that's what was read in from the save file. I read it in as bytes, so data 1 is 65, so 1 byte is 8 bits, so that's 8 ones or zeros one after another. There's 256 different possible bytes and each byte corresponds to one character. And uh, so my data was 1301 characters long And that's how I told the program to generate the cipher, generate a cipher that's 
1301 characters long. V6. That's just blob. Again and again. Because if you do care V6. Oh. Hmm. CHR V6. Okay. Oh shit, I, why'd I use brackets? Okay, let's do CHR on the first character. Okay, that's the second character for character 0. So as you can see, the second character is 0. First character is one and so forth. It's just blob again and again. Except in byte form. So that's why you see 66. So that's the decimal representation of the bytes. Instead of shitting a bunch of ones and zeros on your onto your screen, it just showed something more readable. Okay, now what? V6. No. Um. V5. That's the cipher. You just take the data and XOR it with the cipher to get the output. XOR is reversible, so if you uh, run this twice, it will spit out whatever you started with. Okay, V11, let's see. So, V11 It basically took the blob vector or list or whatever the hell you want to call it and generated a new table. It just jumped around to different parts of blob and did some addition and some remainder division crap like yeah where's my fucking window oh whatever ah uh, okay let me move this back then okay Shit. Yeah, so there's some random addition operations and that just gives you the remainder if you divide by 256 and all this other crap. And yeah, just poops out your file to edit or once you've edited it just poops out your save again cool yeah I didn't really prepare this so explanation could have been much better if I prepared what I was going to talk about beforehand but whatever let's get back to playing I want to be the boss you